Hello and welcome back in the previous video we have set up our dev.config file now we'll take a look on production.config.js so first we do need here merge okay because we need to merge our config base file okay and we also do need our dot environment webpack and path as well okay copy all of this from here and go in here paste all of that and copy this from here paste it here and we also do need copy and paste path sorry const path and require our path and in here we need our production okay so right here prod instead of development and then we'll type module dot exports is equals to merge and right here base config and then start our production file so we need our output first so we'll write here file name js um, name dot chunk hash and dot js and we we'll write here chunk file name js id and write chunk hash dot js and then we we'll write here mode will be equals to production dev tool source map okay and optimization is equal to split chunks and in split chunks we have cache groups and in cache groups we have styles and styles is going to take another object and that is name styles and test forward or backward slashes css and dollar sign forward slash and we have chunks chunks is equals to all in force is equals to two and then we have commons and in commons we need our test forward slash backward slashes forward slash backward slash node modules and again close this okay and then name vendor and chunks is equals to all and then we need to set our minimizer Okay, and the minimizer is going to take or optimize CSS as its plugin. So we need to install that plugin. Okay, go in here and type npm install save dev optimize CSS assets and webpack plugin 
Okay, so this asset is going to search for CSS assets during the Webpack build and will optimize or minimize the CSS. So by default, it uses CSS Nano, but a custom CSS processor can be specified. Okay, now it is installed. You can use this. Okay. And here, cost optimize CSS asset plugin require optimize CSS asset webpack plugin. Okay, you can use it in here. We'll write here new. Optimizes this asset plugin. Okay. Then in here we'll write plugins. Okay. So plugins will be equals to our new HTML webpack plugin. Okay. So type file name path dot resolve directory name list and index dot html okay this is our output folder that webpack will create for us index dot html inject true and minify is equals to remove mm, yes you can remove comments okay remove comments is equals to true and collapse white spaces collapse white spaces to and remove attribute codes okay and it's also be equals to two okay and then we we'll write here chunk short mood and this equals to be equal with dependency okay and the next plugin that we require is new HTML Webpack plugin. And we'll write here for 404 page. Okay. But first add our 404.html. Okay. .html. Okay. Go to index.html, copy this code and paste it here. Okay. And then change it with app. Okay. And right here, mob shop react. e-commerce store save it go back to prod.config.js and create the output in here okay so we'll type here file name and we'll simply copy this code from here and paste it here okay and change it with 404 404 okay and we can also copy this and paste it here and we also do need our copy webpack plugin go to your dev and copy this and paste it in here okay and we also do need here our 
new webpack defined plugin paste it here okay so if you notice we require the same configuration file with the same project inside of dev development and inside of production okay we'll add our separate configuration file from our firebase inside our project okay place comma here and go to the next line okay we need here workbox plugin for our service workers so we can go inside here install sorry you can type npm install save dev work box webpack plugin enter okay workbox plugin is installed now go above okay and right here cause workbox plugin okay and require workbox webpack plugin and now we can use it in here okay we'll type here new work box plugin dot generate service worker okay and then write here cache id cache id is coding cafe and service worker dest is equals to service worker dot js okay navigation fallback is going to be equals inside index dot html navigate fallback white list and it's going to set with double forward slash and this one forward or back slash okay this also this is the syntax here you need to write as it is so right here plus okay and at the end question mark and in here we need to write here first backward slash and then forward slash okay now we write here clients claim true skip waiting is equals to true runtime cache this is the array of objects we'll type here url pattern so we'll type here k and this is the google api so we'll type here https fonts question mark dot google apis static and uh, Close this dot com dot steric and we need to put our exponential sign here okay and then we need our handler okay cache first okay the second object will be our URL pattern new and this will be our process dot environment dot firebase db url okay and then handler is equals to our net worth first okay and the last object will be 
came right here the last object is also url patron forward double forward slash dot and steric and handler will be equals to our network first okay so now we have set up our service worker as well okay so this is all from all the settings from our webpack configuration our frustration part is done till here so from the next video we will be talking about our routers in our app see you in the next video